and welcome to Literary Hype. I am Stephanie, your Literary Hype woman, back with another round of the Hype TBR game where I let the dice and a board game that I made up decide what I'm going to try to read in the next month. So today we're looking at November of 2024's reading list, but before we get to the game we gotta see how I did with October. New York Comic Con prep is always such a gamble of what I'm actually going to get to versus what I want to because things change so quickly in that schedule leading up to the event and trying to figure out what interviews I'm going to get prioritizing books. So things always change, as you can see, from my score. Don't forget that you can actually win a book from me by correctly guessing what my score will be for that month. So after you watch this video, make a bet in the comments on what you think my score will be for November and then come back and we will see if we have a winner next month. But now let's get rolling. I'm not sure where this year went but 2024 is almost over. It is now the beginning of November and so I need to play this game but I'm really not sure where the year went. Anyway, starting the game off for this month as usual with a roll to determine how many rolls I will have and this time I am rolling a d8 and we have a six. Time to bring out Daenerys and have that first roll, which is a 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. A microphone. Two word title. Roll number one gave me a book with a two word title, and for that I am selecting Duchess Material by Emily Sullivan. This is a historical romance. I love a good historical romance, especially Regency. It was recommended by some friends over at Forever, so I will be checking this out. Roll number two is a 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Social media. A buzzy book. Roll number two is a buzzy book, and for that I'm selecting A Jingle Bell Mingle by Julie Murphy and Sierra Simone. They sent me an arc, and then I got distracted with event prep and have not gotten to it yet. And I am dying to get to this book because I love their first two. I love their novellas in this series. Christmas Notch is so special and I cannot wait to see what they do with this book. The third and final member of the boy band, Ink. Roll number three for November is a two. One, two. Got another microphone. Upcoming deadline. Roll number three is an upcoming deadline and for that I'm selecting Love and Bloom by Lucy Eden. Um, I'm guessing you can figure out what the deadline is on this. Might have something to do with shenanigans that I do around here. Um, it's really not a secret anymore, so I've got an interview scheduled. <laughs> shenanigans has really just become code for I'm trying to get an interview and don't know if it'll happen. But this one is actually scheduled. So as long as things don't fall apart, we'll be talking about this book, which is, you know what, I'll just let you wait for that interview. Love and Bloom. 
Roll number four for November is an 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Oh, another social media. A 2.5 to 3.5 star average on Goodreads. Number four gave me a book with a 2.5 to 3.5 star rating on Goodreads, and for that I am selecting Genuine Fraud by E. Lockhart. Um, she's going to be at Y'all Fest, which is coming up this month. Um, it has a 3.2 star rating currently as of the time that I'm recording this. So it fits for the requirement and it's something good to have under my belt as we approach Y'all Fest since um, I don't know what my interview schedule is going to be like yet. As of this moment I've not officially booked anything. But there will be something. There will be. I promise. Roll number five. Is it 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Spotlight. Red cover. Roll number five is a book with a red cover, and for that I am selecting another Y'all Fest attending author, V.E. Schwab, and her upcoming book, Bury Our Bones in the Midnight Soil. This is another one. I'm trying to set up an interview. Potentially could happen. I don't know at this point. Nothing is set in stone. Uh, but this is vampires. I love a good vampire story. And she has called this book all of her. The way people were fighting to get that book at New York Comic Con. Like, the way people were fighting. Oh my goodness. So I'm very interested to see what uh, V.E. Schwab has in store for us in Barrier Bones in the Midnight Soil. And for our sixth and potentially final roll, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Microphone. A highly anticipated. And my sixth and final role is a highly anticipated book. So for that I'm selecting A Queen's Game by Catherine McGee. I loved the American Royal series, so I'm very excited to see what she's got in store for her new series, which is also royalty, It's but it's going to be different. So I just got to go on what's going on. She's also going to be at Y'all Fest 2024. So I'm hoping for shenanigans because that would make my day. It would. It would make my day. Um, Plus this book is, this cover is super cute. I love the pink. It's got like Princess Diaries vibes. So that's it for the game this month. It was pretty chill and unusual for the way things have been going for me lately. So I'm very appreciative that the dice were nice. It's rarity and I'm going to take full advantage of that. There are plenty of other books that I'm going to try to get to before Y'all Fest, so come back next month for the next video to see what I actually finish. And don't forget to make your bets on how many points you think I'll score. If you enjoyed this game, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so, and share it with a friend. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.